Hello, I'm Matt, Product Manager for NI Insight CM. In this video, I'd like to discuss how Insight CM can communicate data to OSISoft Pi. In order to enable this functionality, you must purchase and activate both the NI Insight CM Enterprise Gateway Toolkit as well as the Pi Data Access Software from OSISoft. Once you've done that, navigate to the settings, Go to System and Historian. This is the page that will enable you to map your assets within Insight CM to specific Pi points on your Pi server. You'll note that we've already defined several assets and mapped those to Pi points. But if you're first setting up a system, you can do so by clicking Add, selecting any assets you'd like to map, and then choosing Apply. If you like to preview the mappings, you can go ahead and select a single asset and click Preview. By default, Insight CM will map the asset name to the equivalent Pi tag name. If you'd like to customize the mappings, you can do so by using the Point Name Patterns tab and the Custom Feature Names tab. Once you've created an asset mapped to a Pi point, Insight CM will begin to communicate that data to Pi as soon as it has been received from the device. If you'd like to explore the data that's in Pi, you can click on a single point and click on the chart button. This will retrieve data from Pi. It may take a few seconds depending on your connection. But what you can see here is a trend which has been stored in Pi. As the data is being communicated to Pi, you can use any of the software tools that Pi provides or any other software application that communicates with Pi. In this case, we've created a Pi core site dashboard, which gives us the option to view the current vibration levels for any of the sensors. And we can pick and choose any of the pumps that we're interested in looking at. Using this functionality, InsightCM gives you the capabilities to take data that you've just acquired and to move that to other enterprise software applications 